Owing to a tenant's family ties to the royal family, a South Grants Pass home eviction has become British tabloid fodder. In the past week, the likes of London's Daily Mail, The Sun and Daily Star have all picked up the story of eviction proceedings filed against Thomas Wayne Markle Jr. in Josephine County Circuit Court that claim the half-brother of the Duchess of Sussex hasn't paid his landlord since January. Paul Walter, Thomas Markle's landlord, said he has been contacted by the Daily Mail as well as the syndicated American TV news magazine Inside Edition about the eviction, in which Walter says he's at about $4,500 for unpaid rent in the months of January, February and March. Markle and his fiancée, Darlene Marie Blount, are expected to move out of their Grants Pass home in the 1,500 block of Harbeck Road on April 5, court filings filed in Josephine County show. Walter said he's heard from Inside Edition that TV crews will be at the home on the eviction date. It's going to be quite a circus, Walter said. For Walter, 73, and his 72-year-old wife, Danish-born actress Yet Stensgard, losing three rental payments of $1,575 is a sizable chunk of their income, he said. The home is one of two rental properties they own. Walter also operates the conservative website newswithviews.com, but he says the website only supplements our income. We're not eccentric millionaires, he said. $4,500 is a lot of money for us. Further, Walter said he's concerned the home won't be ready to rent right away. Walter said he has never had to evict a tenant in more than a decade as landlord. We've never, ever had a problem before he said. This is our first experience. Oregon court records show no other landlord-tenant disputes for Walter, but two disputes for Markle in 2017 one for a home in the 1,400 block of Blayford Avenue in Grants Pass and another surrounding a rental home in the 400 block of Templin Avenue in Merlin. In January, Oregon State Police troopers arrested Markle on a misdemeanor charge of driving under the influence of intoxicants. Court records show he pleaded into a diversion program in February, giving him a chance for the case to be dismissed if he complies with terms that include mandated treatment and no driving without a license. Markle has no other Oregon convictions. However, court records show that he had been arrested in January 2017 on a weapons charge that allegedly involved alcohol. In early 2017, Markle had faced a felony charge of unlawful use of a weapon and a misdemeanor count of menacing alleging that he pulled a gun on his girlfriend and pressed the weapon up to her on January 12, 2017, at his home, according to an affidavit filed by Grants Pass Police. Police recorded a 0.17 blood alcohol reading when they took Markle into custody. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.